Hey there, it's Ryan Wright here from DoHardMoney.com. I frequently get asked by people, what do I need to know before I buy or purchase an investment property? And uh, I wanna do a quick video to kind of talk about that. So it really depends. There's a whole bunch of whole bunch of different types of investments and it really just depends on what you're trying to do. So one of the ways you can invest in properties is you can actually buy it, fix it, and rehab it. Um, another way you can invest in a property is if you're doing like a burr strategy where you're buying the property, you are then renovating the property, you then rent the property, and you then refinance the property. So that's another strategy that you can use. The other one is wholesaling a property where basically you get a property under contract and you sell that contract or you close on it and you do a simultaneous um, or you have to use it like a flash cash. So basically you've got rentals, you've got fix and flips, you've got wholesaling. There's a couple strategies between those. So I guess what do you need to know before buying an investment property? Well, first off, you gotta know what strategy you're doing and why you're doing it, what's your exit strategy, how you're gonna fund it. Those are all big things. And I think the financial situation is one of the biggest is how do I plan to actually uh, fund it this deal and how do I plan on liquidating this deal? So I think the first thing you've got to know is all the different strategies, all the techniques within those strategies. You've got to understand your personal financial situation. I think you've got to calculate your income and your return on investment when that's going to be happening. What am I actually going to make? The other thing I think is really important as you look at this is what's going to be the easiest for me to get started? Uh, lots of people get, get excited about fix and flips. We do a lot of those, um, but they may want to look at doing wholesale because that's an easier one to kind of get started with and get their feet wet in doing so that can be helpful as well and the last thing I'd like to talk about is just unexpected expenses like things just come up and there's just some costs you want to be prepared for that and you want to look at how you've prepared yourself for that so a couple of things you need to know about when we're talking about buying investment properties what you need to know if you want to learn any more check us out at dohardmoney.com and make it a very profitable day